So good day guys! Today I'm going to teach you how to put a copy to clipboard button on your website where you want people to copy a certain text or a format or a code from your website. So I'm going to, by the way this is the website I'm working on, this is our shop. And I placed some downloadable files for my clients to download and fill up. Here you go. So up here, up here are um, PDF and Excel files where I want um, desktop user clients to put to input their details on them and and then send it back to us on our Facebook page. So down here. I use this option because because there are people who don't have any laptop or computer so it's not really easy for them to download a PDF or an Excel file and edit it through mobile phones. So all they're gonna do on their phone is to copy this one. For example, I ordered a wedding invitation so this is the information I need to submit. Okay, so I'm going to click to copy it. And then let's try it if it's working. So let's check it if it's working. Let me see. Let's paste it. Oh yeah. So there, it's really working. For wedding invitations, for wedding invitations, don't use caps lock. So I really need this form to be filled up by my clients and then send it back to us on our Facebook page. So that's it. Now I'm going to show you how I did it. Let's go back to dashboard. I use a plugin called Copy Anything to Clipboard. So let's check on this one. So let's hit plugin. Now this plugin has already been installed on my WordPress, but I'm going to show you how it looks like. So let's try and search it. Copy anything to clipboard. So as you can see, it's already active in my WordPress. So if you're still going to download it, just click install, like this one here. You click it here, and then once it is installed, the active button will appear, and then you're going to hit the active button, and then it will be activated. Then after activating it, let's go to settings, and then you will see this option here. Wait. Okay, there you go. Then you will see this option here, copy to clipboard. We're going to click that and then we're going to set the plugin. Now this selector here, this part here, we're just going to leave it there because it serves as the tag which we're going to use later on on making the text box. So here you go. So the default setting here is HTML but I need people to copy its text. So I'm going to change it to text. So I'm going to save that. And let's proceed to style. Now the default setting here is only copy. So I put click to copy so that people will know what I want them to do. It's easily for them to, to understand what I'm telling them to do. So button copy text is copied and that's it. And then here the default setting is inside but I want it better outside. So let's click save changes and we're going to make a new page. Okay, add new so that I'm going to show you how it how I did it step by step. Now I'm going to name this page sample copy to clipboard. Alright, and let's edit with edit with Elementor. And then let's put a wait, this is really white. Now let's add a new section. And then let's add a widget called text editor. There you go. And then uh, here we're going to place the text we want people to copy. So this is the text I want people to copy. There you go. And then let's add more text. I will add more text. I hope this tutorial really helps okay so this is the text we want people to copy 
Now, remember the pre word? This one, we're going to copy it. And then, how will we use it? First, we need to select this bar here, this selection here. Not the visual, but the text. We're going to use this text. And then, we're going to place the pre word before and after the text. But there are symbols included. At the beginning of the text, we're going to use this symbol and then type the pre and then this symbol. Let's just put it there. At the end of the text, we're also going to place the pre word but with a different symbol, adding a different symbol. There you go. You will notice that something changed here. That's it, guys. We're going to publish it and let's check it if it's really working. Okay, let's view the page. Mm, there you go. Let's see if it's working. Click copy. Let's copy it on Notepad. Boom! There you go. It's really working. So that's it, guys. Just do what I did and then you'll end up like this. So that's it guys, I hope this tutorial helped you and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching, God bless.